Hello, I'm Chris. In this tutorial, I will show you how to make sliding door effect with Slice Maker Deluxe Rain 3.5. In this tutorial, we will manage to cancel sliding doors, horizontal sliding door, and vertical sliding door. At first, we'll make the horizontal sliding door. This is the sliding door effect we wanted to achieve. This is the graphic web design we will handle. Firstly, import graphic web design. Then your web page here. In tools, options. Set web root directory. Select file encoding and image format. Save your design document. Now, let's start slicing the graphic web design. At first, make the general structure. Adjust the slice. Tick the box to see the slice as sliding door effect. Set so the sliding door direction is title bar on the top. Click the setting button to set the sliding door. Click this button to add sliding door items. Input the title for these items. Save and close the dialog. Generate and preview. Now we can see the four sliding door items. In the rear, include five parts title bar style, title item style. Selected item style, unselected item style, and spacing style. At first, we'll handle the title bar. Slice the title bar like that. Export and edit the slice. You should set the path to an image processing software when you first use this function. Here we use Adobe Firework to process this exported image. Cover the text in the image, like that. Save it. And then let's come back to our steps. 
Do that in the class. Select the image you processed as background image for this title bar. Generate and preview. Slice one title item. We can see the widest of the item is 156 pixels. And the height is 69 pixel. Then delete the slice. Select the slice. Attention, this step is very important because you are setting sliding door effect in this slice. And then set the widest of each item is 156 pixel, and the height is 69 pixel. Generate and preview. According to the graphic web design, the selected item should have different style when mouse moves on the items. So let's say the selected style and the unselected style. Set the font size of the text on the items. Tick the bold box. Set the font size of the text on the items. Tick the bold box. Select the font color according to the graphic web design. Generate and preview. From the result, I think we should adjust the top padding. Set the top padding as 14 pixel to see if it's proper. Generate and preview, I think it's okay. This is the image I processed. You can process this image in the way we handle the title bar. Now we can select this image as background of our selected item. Generate and preview. We can see the selected item style is done. Here we can see the left border has been covered by the first item. We need to set the leading width, set as 3 pixels. Then generate and preview. We can see problem solved. After that, we'll do the spacing style between each item. Slice out the spacing in the graphic web design. Adjust the slice. Export the slice as image. Select this image as spacing background. Set the width of the spacing as 2 pixels. Then generate and preview. We can see the spacing is finished. Next, we'll handle the content in each item. Click the setting button to the dialog. Add a link to each item. In the first item, slice the image like that.
City slice as background repeat Y. City is border part as background. Slice like that to box all the content. Convert this slice to UL. Slice a list in like that. Set the slice front and left so that the list will be ranged from top to bottom, from left to right. Enter text here. Save and close the dialog. Generate and preview. Because all the item content has the same style, so others just need to copy the slices. Select all the slices. Copy these slices. Open the second item. Paste the slices here. Select auto generate name. Third one goes the same way. So as the fourth one. Change the content to see the difference between each other. Save and close the dialog. Generate and preview. Now we can see the sliding door is almost done. Next, we make the vertical sliding door. This is the graphic group design we will handle. Import graphic group design. Set web root directory. Set file encoding and image format. Name your web page here. Save your design document. And then slice to box all the content. Select the slice and then tick the box to set a sliding door effect. Set the direction as title bar on the left. Click the setting button to the dialog. Click the button to add items. Here we add 6 items. Enter title for all the items. Save and close the dialog. Slice one item. We can see the width of the slice is 303 pixel and the height is 59 pixel. 
They leave the big box and then say the value of the item is 303 pixels and the height is 59 pixels. Say the top padding is 8 pixels. Say the font size of the selected item is 16 pixels and tick the bold box. Say the font size of the unselected item is 16 pixels and then tick the bold box. Say the font color of the unselected item to white. Set the font color of the selected item to yellow. Slice like that to set it as background for the sliding door later. Select the slice and then export it. Delete the slice. Save the exported image as background of sliding door. Generate and preview the result. And then we'll handle the selected item style. Slice the item. Export and edit the slice. Cover the text on the image. And then, let's come back to process our unselected item style. Unlock this slice. Move it to the next item. Export and edit. Cover the text on the image. Select the big box. Set the image as background of the selected item. Set this image as background of the unselected item. Delete the slice. Generate and preview. Now, we can see the title bar is finished. Next, we'll handle the item content on the right side. Click the setting button to the dialog. Slice to box all the text. And then slice like that. Select the slice. Set font size as 7 pixel. Tick the bold box. 
Select this slice, set its font size as 14 pixel. Align the text to center. Enter text here. Enter text here. Save and close the dialog. Generate and preview. The other items' contents can go the same way. After that, we can see the sliding door is done. That's all. Thanks a lot for sparing your time. If you still have problem, please contact our support team.